Hey everyone, so today I am doing my update number 5 for my Finish 17 in 2017 project. As of the last update, I had finished 5 out of the 17 items, so there are 12 left to show you today. And I will have all of my previous update videos linked down below. If you haven't seen them, I recommend checking those out first. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. So I managed to finish two items in the last month. The first one was the Wild Hydrangea hand and body lotion. This one looks like there's still quite a lot left, but like nothing comes out when you pump it. And then the other product that I finished was the L'Oreal Brow Artist Shaper Pencil. Hopefully you can see there is nothing left in there. Basically there was like a tiny, tiny bit left and then it just kind of fell out and was just impossible to keep using. So those two are both finished and those two were my goals for this month. The only other goal that I set myself for the month was to be almost finished with this one here. This is the By Nature Lavender and Almond Oil Body Wash and I am down to here. So I would call that goal achieved. I am nearly done with this. I reckon another week and this one should be all gone. So because I finished one moisturizer, the one that I have moved on to is this one here. This is the Avon Amari Seduction Hand and Body Lotion. I've only been using this for maybe half a week so far, so I haven't made a huge amount of progress in this, but it's quite a small bottle, so I think I should be able to finish this within one month. Then I still have two moisturizers that haven't been open yet, so these have no progress at all. And also this uh, shower gel that hasn't been opened yet. I'm just waiting to finish that one that's almost done and then I'll be moving on to this. Right, so the sea salt spray, I think I said either last month or the month before that I wasn't able to use it because it doesn't suit my hair when it's short. And I had had my hair cut quite short. Short for me anyway. Anyway, I have used this maybe two or three times in the last month. I have used it today. This is what it looks like when I use it. I'm not 100% sure if I like it or not. I do like the fact that I don't have to brush my hair when I use this, but Jonathan says it looks like I've just woken up and not put in any effort at all, so I'm not really sure. And then when I do go to brush my hair the next time I want to do it properly, it's like a lot harder than normal to brush because I've let it be like all tangly for an entire day. So I'm really not sure how I feel about this. I am still trying to use it when I can though and I'm down to here so I'm almost halfway down. I don't know. I feel like this is something that I'll get more use out of in the holidays when I'm not like going to work every day because I would not go to work with my hair looking like this. Moving on to the makeup products, firstly the Leo Ali BB Cream. This is starting to run out. The other day when I was trying to pump this onto my brush, um, nothing was coming out and I got really like panicky. I thought that I'd finished it already because I really like this. I don't actually want to finish it all that fast. There is still product left in here. I just have to hold it in a very specific way so that the product will come out. For sure there's not a lot left in here so I reckon maybe two more months and this might be all gone. The Rimmel Stay Matte Powder is looking like this, so I'm still making steady progress. I'm not getting close to hitting side pan just yet, so I'm not going to make that a goal for the next month. But I think I'm just going to keep going as I am. I use this every single time I wear makeup, so I think that that's good enough for the moment. This Natio Cream to Powder Blush, I am starting to lose hope that I'm actually going to be able to get much use out of this because I'm trying to focus on my Pan That Palette for the year, so I'm trying to use those shades as blush shades first, but I haven't even hit pan on those yet. So I did use this once in the last month. Obviously you can't see a difference from me using it once, but also I feel like cream products are more of a summer thing and we are in winter here in New Zealand at the moment. So I think I'm just going to continue focusing on my Pan That Palette shades over winter and then when spring comes back around towards the end of the year I will get this one back out and try and get some more use out of it. And the last product is my Bourjois lipstick and I did wear this maybe three or four times in the last month. So I've had a bit of progress. I don't know how well you can see it, but again, this is another one that I'm just working away steadily at. I never wear it a lot of times in a month, but I have been consistently wearing it a few times each month. So I feel like by the end of the year, I should be getting really close to having this one done. So I have now finished seven products in total this year and I have 10 left to go. My goals for next month, I have two products that I would like to finish. Obviously this body wash because it's almost done anyway, so I would like this one to be gone by the next update. 
The moisturizer that I'm working on at the moment, I would like this one to be all gone as well. And then this one here, um, I would like to be below these silver words here. So at the moment, I'm right on the top of them. And I just want to use up like whatever that is, like one centimeters worth of product. So hopefully I will be able to achieve that. That should only be about three uses. And as always, I'll let you know how I'm going again next update. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it inspired you to use up some of your products that are sitting at home as well. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I will see you next time. Bye.